See you, God bless you. Love you right back. God bless you. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 1 verse 6. I want to start from a safe distance. Malachi 1 verse 6. The son honors his father. His servant is master. If then, I'm your father. Where's my honor? And if I'm ambassador, where's my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts. To you priests who despise my name, yet you say, in what way have I despised your name? Let's read verse 7. You offer defiled food. So is the offering that was a problem. You offer defiled food on my altar. But you say, in what way are we defiled who defiles you, saying the table of the Lord is contemptible. If you read down, you see God complaining that some people gave him a go to one eye. And he said, can you give that to your governor? You can tell if you're a son or you're a nephew. And now you know that you're a son is the honor you are caught to your father. Jesus only called God, God on the cross of Calvary. Eli, Eli, Lamak, Sabbatani. Every other time he called God his father. When they told him, teach us how to pray, he said, our father. He didn't say God. Because prayer is a family matter. If God is your father, what God demands from you is honor. It's not first of all prayer. It's not first of all what, in fact, worship is an Anglo-Saxon word. We have ship, the art of giving to someone what is, what is worth in your sight. If you think standing up is what it was, then stand up. If you think sitting down is what it was, then sit down. If you think lying down is what it was, then lie down. If you think just crying, if you think giving him five naira is what it was, give it to him. Because we are on different levels when it comes to honor. If I'm your father, where's my honor? So there are three things. If I have time, I will talk about that. Three things, three ways God relates with us. By principles, by position, by patterns. What I mean by that, I don't intend to confuse you. Uh, when a slave is praying, when a slave wants to ask your mom something, it's different from when you want to ask your mom something. Because your position is different. That's why Jesus said, our father. He entered with his position. There are principles also. I love what Bishop said yesterday. <laughs> he said he knows what to say. That's why he doesn't pray. He doesn't say much. Because Jesus Christ cast out devils by words. Out. Come out. Few words. <laughs> because he knew what to do. He asked them, where are we going to get bread to give to these people? And he himself knew what to do. The gift and the grace for knowing what to do rest upon you. Yeah. If I'm your father, where's my own Position. Principle. If you don't understand that you need to learn the principles of God's word, the principle of the kingdom. Some people don't have kingdom manners. If you don't understand kingdom principles, some things do not flow to you. Some things will block. Then, apart from position, principles, patterns, there's a law of force mention. It may not be the contest with which the thing was spoken. For example, when they changed Judas and chose Matthias, they brought out a line in the Old Testament, let another one take his place. Contextually, he wasn't talking about somebody between Jesus Christ. Just took a line out because there's a pattern. There's a pattern. The protocol around God is honor. If you want to see God, in fact, God cannot tell what he would do when you honor him. 
is fearful in prisons. He cannot even tell. There are people God has budgeted to destroy. They will start worshiping God. God will say, see how they're humble. How no, it's something, even the devil cannot reject honor. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 30, God sent Samuel to address the house of Saul. We won't go there because that's not our, pre our preoccupation. But Samuel said to Saul, Therefore the Lord God of Israel says, I said indeed your house and the house of your father would walk before me forever. In other words, You'll be pastors forever. You'll be priests forever. You will have favor with me forever. But, but now the Lord says, far be it from me. Why? I have a principle. Even though I had spoken before, I have a principle. The principle is that for those who honor me are the people I can honor. That's a principle I can break. I can't deny myself. I can't deny my, 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 myself. That's a principle I can break. I honor those who honor me. You don't know what we miss when we don't honor God. When we honor men and we don't honor God, we don't know what we miss. Some of us, because we are comfortable, we have a good job, we embrace principles to be blessed. Go and study Psalm 1. You must make up your mind that you not listen to the counsel of the ungodly. Your mindset, your the truisms you embrace, the axioms, every single thing you embrace must not be sponsored by the ungodly. That's the devil. If I'm your father, where's my honor? <laughs> Jesus Christ got to his hometown one day. God that became man, he could not do miracles. He could not, he, which means he wanted to. He could not. Then he said, ah, ah. What happened? Oh, a prophet has no honor, but in this country. Prophetics and honor goes together. A man, you don't, whoever received the prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. Jesus could not. God could not. Except that he healed few folks. He could not. He shook. He prayed. He released the anointing. It didn't work. Go and read this, the, the scripture. He went to the villages and began to teach because teaching is the solution to unbelief. This honor is unbelief. When you say you are a pastor, you are a Christian, or you feel spiritual, and they are praising God, they are worshiping God, you are not joining them, you don't honor God. I don't know where you got your revelation from. And because you're comfortable, or because God is lifting you up, who lifted you up? Peter asked the question, how, how be it that you behave like what you have you've not received? He gave one five, he gave another two, he gave another one, according to what they are able to handle. What can you handle? Hmm. One guy won a certain amount of money in a competition. He went back to a lawyer and he said, tonight, he won one million. <laughs> Tonight, I want to sleep at Quarrelta. So his friends advised him, your mom is suffering at home. What is one million? Said, Leave me alone. So he went to our Ilorin church and saw Pastor Wally. He was the pastor there. He's done a Wally. On one million. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you a true story. On one million. That's why many times when you want to help people, you are not more good than God. Some of them, I'm not saying all, some, they are on a spot because God wants them to realize some things. Honor goes hand in hand with promotion, with elevation, with God lifting you up. If I see that you don't honor God, hmm, I always say something, you don't pray, you don't do jazz. Please tell me what you do. I want to know. Because there's nobody on top without the devil pulling you up or God pulling you up. You can't stay there. So you need to tell me what you are on and what you do.
Maybe they're doing jazz on your behalf. <laughs> I don't know. What does it mean to honor? High respect. High respect. Do you have high respect for God? When you come into church, are you still the same? One day they were having a program in church. One guy came for the first time. I wanted to come in through my office and God said, no, go in through the foyer. So I came in. Nobody knew I was there. And I saw him watching, maybe football, I'm not sure. In the service, it wasn't a normal service. They were doing something on the stage. Maybe a women's meeting, I don't know. I don't know. But it wasn't a normal church. The guy was watching football at the back. Ha! Ah, I couldn't stand it. So I tapped him. I said, please, come. Because I didn't want to explode in the church. I said, come, let's talk. When he saw me, you know what he did? He said, ah, oh, Pastor Biodu, and I've been wanting to meet you. Oh, God, how can I meet you on this note? <laughs> it just deflated my anger. I started smiling. I said, let's sit down. Why were you watching what you were watching? They said, said, Pastor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we started talking, and I found out he was dealing with many things. Many people, anybody you see that run away from God, I have somebody related to me is months older than me, and he's not yet born again. If you don't feel endeared to God's God, there's something wrong. Something that we can't explain is wrong. Because naturally, how many of you experience deja vu? You just feel, oh, I've seen this before. It's because man was made to love God. You are made as a replacement for Lucifer to love God. If you consistently... You don't love God. You don't honor God. You know, there are people that really don't live a holy life. They come out and pay their tithe or pray. They walk by feeling good. But you, you are just despising everything that, that, that involves God. You're listening to me. They pay you to talk down on God. You know, the preoccupation of some people right now is to take church out. They feel the influence of church is too much. And so they pay you. <laughs> the other day I was, I, in fact, the reason why I'm teaching this message is what I watched some days ago. One guy that dressed in an African attire and said in the U.S., instead of them asking for first fruits, they are feeding people. And he went on the internet, they are feeding people. Listen, this church is registered 501c3 in the U.S., registered in the U.K. When you give money in the U.K., government give you money back. In Nigeria, did you do that? <laughs> I think, don't judge me, I think church works in Nigeria. Tell me any building that is 10 years in Nigeria that looks like this in 10 years. I think church works. I think so. I think so. They build schools, they build universities, they build churches, build people, sponsor people. On offering. Yes, Yet every day they are attacking churches. And you a child of God. You are not asking questions. The Mark 666 is such that when you don't have it, you can go to school. You can go for medicals. But you can't do commerce. I don't know why devil is, the devil is sitting where money is. I don't know his problem. Because if you're born again and you have money, it's in trouble. One of the reasons why I talk with confidence is because I'm not eating from my hand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need somebody to, to say, hey, uh, ah, Pastor Beard, let's help him. No. no. I'm sorry you can call that, oh, he was just bragging. You can say anything you want. I've been preaching for 25 years. I mean, it's not a small thing. 25 years. <laughs> Full time. Working with God. So if I tell you something, I know a little bit about what I'm about to tell you. Now, I'm not old. <laughs> Maybe I started early, but I know some things. And when it comes to church, I know a little bit about you. I've dealt with, 
I've, I've pastored people that were teenagers before. I've pastored people. I've pastored. I've gone to many, many levels of people. I understand at every level what the enemy can use to deal with you. What will you do? Why do you go to school? Why do you work? Why do you want a better life? Think about it. We don't say it, but think about it. We all want money. It's quiet here. I think these people like me. So if you were the devil, how will you deal with you? you, you many people are not sick. You go and stand at the area where they can, you frustrate them with finance. That is why the enemy seems to be seeing some things. He just wants to stop you. Because the moment you don't do what you ought to do, you don't follow the principle or the pattern or you lose your position as a child of God, you are gone. There's nothing God can do. Grace cannot cover you when you are out of principle. Matthew eleven twenty eight. come unto me, all you that labor and the heavy lady, I will give you rest. Don't stop there. Take my yoke and do what? Learn principle. Principle. God said to uh, Aaron and Miriam, you're not afraid. All the prophets I have, I speak to them in a dream. You're not afraid to talk against Moses that I speak to him mouth to mouth. And that guy was going to kill himself. Counseling from morning to night, God that speaks to him mouth to mouth did not advise him. Because Jethro, if you listen to Jethro, he would know how to delegate. God made sure Moses grew up and was raised in Egypt. He made sure he connected him with Jethro. Even though the ministry of Jethro was not as big as his, so that this man would learn how to stand between the living and the dead. He couldn't have learned that in Egypt. They did magic in Egypt where he was raised. It was Jethro that God linked him with, that taught him things, even though he took what he learned to another level. It was from Jethro. He learned how to be a priest. It was from Jethro. He saw that somebody woke up early to talk to God. The God that appeared to him, he didn't know the God. It was Jethro that God used. Immediately Mary was pregnant. God linked her with Elizabeth. That's what God does. So, when the devil also wants to destroy you, he links you with someone to give you a mindset so that it will rob you. The devil comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. You will not be, you will not be killed. Your vision will not be destroyed. Yeah. Where God has budgeted for you to get to, you get there. Yeah. And this year, you walk in greater honor. Yeah. Can I have a louder amen, somebody? Yeah. Now, you need to know that God honors those who honor him. It's not those who cry, not those who pray. Those who honor him, God honors. Prayer can be honor. Giving can be honor. Worship can be honor. I was listening to Brian your last Sunday. His own was a guitar. Everywhere I went to. I could relate because I was like that too. When I was a teenager, I went around with guitars. My friends with guitars. I went, I, 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 I still want the footages from NTA learning when I, I went to secular programs to sing about Jesus when I was 12 years old. <laughs> I know what he was saying. When you are frustrated, you just lock your room and compose a song and just play guitar. What's your own? What's, what's, what's your honor definition? How do you honor God? I remember the first time I went to my... Um, in-law's home. I was waiting for my mother-in-law to come out. She was praying. And I was worshiping at the balcony. And they came to call me that my mother-in-law was in the sitting room that I should come and see her. I came back into my body. I was out of my body. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. I was worshiping. I was just, just a minute for me to meet her. I was just worshiping. I had nothing. I had nothing, but I had worship. I had honor. Anything you have that will stop you from honoring God, may you not have it. May you not have it. What will you do without honor? If God doesn't put honor on you, what will you do? You'll be fighting people. You don't respect me. You don't help me. And you, you, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be fighting people. No, 
Oh no. See, you don't, you don't demand it, you command it. After today, and I'm not just praying for you, I'm indicting a good matter in my heart. My tongue is a pen of a red writer. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. For every shame you've encountered, receive double. Yeah. Double honor in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter those who know your past and the they, 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 super story is different from what I'm talking about. When God honors you, he honors openly. Hallelujah. In Matthew 6, 6, remember what the Bible says? Matthew 6, 6. The Bible says, but when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut the door, pray to your father who is in the secret, in the secret place. And your father who sees, in, who sees the secret will reward you how? Openly. You shall be rewarded this year openly. Hebrews 11, 6, it concludes by saying God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. In John 5, John 5, 44, it talks about the honor that comes from God. How can you believe? You who receive honor from one another and do not seek the honor that comes only from God. There's nothing wrong with our words, but make sure you have a reward from God. Because reward is bigger than award. There's an honor that comes from God. Remember the cult that Jesus rode into Jerusalem. That same cult that nobody are reading upon became popular in a day. That cult would be deceived to think that people were bowing down to it. No, they were bowing down to Jesus. Do you know people who couldn't, who didn't have coat? They had coat. They put it on it. They put their tunics. They began to decorate this, this coat, this donkey. The four legs it has, they're on the ground. That guy cannot dress for himself. That's the way we are. If God does not dress for you, where will you find it? People who didn't have clothes, they were tall enough to 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 to. to to get the leafy branches. People who, who are not taught to get the branches, they had a voice shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Oh no, you shall be honored. Yeah. But remember, nobody had ridden on the horse before, on the donkey before. He said, when you lose it and somebody challenges you, say the owner has asked. He, he came and that was why he was honored. As you yield to God, your honor knows no limit. Yeah. In Psalm 113, verse 7, Psalm 113, verse 7, it says, It raises the poor out of the dust. I wish I had time to preach to you on this. Not everybody can do this. In fact, people look at you very well. They ask, <laughs> they, in their conversation, they want to know when you were born, which school you went to, are you from an affluent family, before they relate with you. But look at God. I've always known it as a pastor. I've never done it before. When I would tell you, uh, invite your uncle that has money. The grace to lift people up is here. Yeah. Jesus Christ went to the house of Simon the leper. Lazarus was there. He didn't preach a message, but his presence was preaching a major message. Someone that was dead for four days and was raised from the dead. Bible says the Jews came to see Jesus and they came to see Lazarus also. Do we have any Lazarus is in the house? People that their family said by now he must be stinking. Don't, don't even bother. The grace to raise you for days to come out. When I get to heaven, I, I would ask how Lazarus came out. Because I'd been to his grave in Jerusalem before. It's two steps. When he came out, the Bible says lose him. And let him go, which means he was bound. How did he come out? The word brought him forth. If the word could bring Lazarus forth, the word can bring you forth. The problem is learn to honor. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is not a sermon. The preoccupation of the enemy, he knows what can infuriate God. He knows the protocol around God is honor. Read the book of Revelation. Everything around God is honor. Everything. The awesome for some. 
the, 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 the seven spirits of God. There are beings with eyes everywhere. Even the elders, they, lay their, they, they remove their crown and they, they bow before him. When last did you bow before God? When last did you love God to a point that you sang a song throughout the day? What do you do when you go to the church? I want things. Give me, 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 give me. You don't even need the brain of an astronaut. Just look at handbills all over Nigeria. Who took my goods? Fall and die. I'm not against anybody's team. But those things, they just need to use those things to attract you. And that's who you are. That's not what God made you to be. You are made for God to enjoy you. These people are formed for myself. They shall glorify me. What is the meaning of glorify? Oh no. They will lift me up. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, even though contextually he was talking about his death, but in pattern, in principle, if you lift Jesus up, he will draw you to himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 75 verse 6. I've not even started the message. I'm just building the foundation for it. In Psalm 75 verse 6. For exhaltation comes neither from the east. What is the meaning of exhortation? KJV says promotion. What's the meaning of promotion? Honor! It doesn't come from the east. It doesn't come from the west. It doesn't come from the south. Verse 7. It tells us where it comes from. But God is the judge. What does he do? He puts down one. Ah! You will never be put down. It doesn't matter how many men gather together to pull you down. If God is for you, who can be against you? And he exhausts another. You shall be exalted this year. Because of time, let's quickly read verse 6 of the Living Bible Translation or NLT. Verse 6 and 7. For no one on earth, no one on earth, you know how you want people, uh, you want people to be at your corner. You want to be in every click. You want to matter. It's good. It's good to have good emotional intelligence, but I'm telling you, God is the person you should first of all consider in anything you want to do. For no one on earth, no one on earth, no one from the east, whether it's from the west, whether his nose is straight or his nose is any, any color, no one. Or even from the wilderness, should raise a defined feast. Verse uh, 7. It is God alone who judges. It is God alone. He decides who will rise and who will fall. If God decides, why are you going to other people? Why do you want the validation from people? Why not God? I was at Harrods one day. I wanted to buy a particular suit. <laughs> and one guy, one Igbo guy said, oh, if it were you, uh, are you not a pastor? I won't will, will buy this. I said, eh. if, if the queen of England calls you for, to a dinner, will you go like this? He said, no. What will you wear? He said, oh, I'm going to wear my best. I said, the king of kings is the person I want to meet. Now, you may not agree. You may be in a school. Personally, that's what I believe. I don't go to club. I don't go to parties. I don't go to, the only place I go to is church. And you want me to look shabby. Before the king of... If Tinubu, President Tinubu, invites you, will you dress anyhow? What are you saying? What are you saying? Is this... Do you know, Bishop Abioye, when I want to go and see him, I change to suits. Because in Winners Chapel, all pastors wear suits. Sometimes I come from DPE, you know, the way I dress for DPE. Praise God. I get home, I say, oh, I'm going to see Bishop of you. I change, I wear tie. I wear tie. Sometimes in the heat. <laughs> Why? Because of the person I'm going to see. That's the protocol around it. How can I go and see Bishop Oyedepo? You need to see me when I want to go and see him. I don't wear two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this to say, son, what is this? You know what he told me, just to make you laugh a little bit, he said, Biodo, if I just heard 
that they, I just, I just pray that they won't catch you as Boko Haram with your, with your jeep. <laughs> That's just my prayer. <laughs> uh, somebody say, Hana. Hana. I can hear you. Hana. Somebody say, Hana. Hana. Say to your neighbor, this year, this you shall be lifted. Find a new neighbor, say, this year, this you shall be lifted. If you believe it, shout sevenfold, amen, somebody. Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven. How can just God promote one and bring another person down? And he's a righteous judge. What are you telling me? How can he just do that? Some people give their offering like they're just giving a dog money. Some write, they, some, someone like my wife, they, she would dance with her offering at home. <laughs> Before coming to church. I'm telling you. Some people, they write a letter to God. They seal it. So, some of you are excusing money. The way you even do, you, you <laughs> say, does God spend money? Does God eat goods? When they said, you give, you give, you bring one eye goods to me. Can you give your God knows? The issue, maybe you don't know. The, what happened in the book of Malachi was a coming back. They call it years of silence. God was silent. They begged God. They prayed. God didn't see anything. For years. He now cleared his throat because he was bringing Jesus Christ and wrote the book of Malachi. He spoke to prophet Malachi and told them, these are the things I have against you. If I'm your father, where's my honor? Goats? Yes. In fact, let's read verse 6 again. Malachi 1 verse 6. So, a son honors his father. A servant is master. Then if I am the father, where is my honor? Where? Some of you wake up in the morning, God is not in your thoughts. Just because somebody preached a demonic message of grace to you. God is not in your thoughts. God didn't send his son Jesus to die to make you like that. He said, let his mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. If I'm your master. So there are two positions that you should have. You should have a position of a son. When it comes to the work of ministry, you don't have to be ordained as a pastor. Evangelism, uh, reaching out to people, God's waking you up to pray for somebody. Assume you are now a servant of God. He must tell you what to do. A lot of people know Jesus as Savior, but they don't know him as Lord. Lord is Kurio, someone who dictates what you do. Oh, it's quiet in this Pentecostal church. Don't worry, I'll preach a better message next time I preach. Somebody say principle. Somebody say pattern. Somebody say position. Now, a lot of people don't want to offend people. I also don't want to offend people. I want to be nice. I want to, to be popular among you. I want, to be, I want you to say, oh, pa my pastor is a good man. I want that. Who doesn't like that? Everybody likes that. So some people don't teach honor because they don't want to offend people. In fact, in 1 Samuel 2, uh, 29 before 30 that I read to you. Let me tell you what God said to Eli. Eli said, why do you kick? Uh, God said to Eli, why do you kick at my sacrifice and my offering? Do you think God does not pay attention to those things? What you are holding is a weapon. The devil knows it. Why do you kick at my sacrifice and at my offering, which I've commanded in my dwelling place? And you honor your son more than me. I want to ask you a question. Go and read the way you get on. What did Eli do? Nothing. He only did not correct. He only did not teach his children honor. Hey! When it comes to offering, wash your hand before you touch it. Pray before you touch it. Do this. Hey! Mm. Don't dare. Don't take what does not belong to you. Be, be careful. Be careful. He, he didn't teach them that. He wanted to be popular. He wanted the priesthood to be in his house. So he wanted his sons. 
And God said, you honor your sons more than me to make yourself fat with the best offerings of Israel, my people. If you're a pastor, listen to me, be careful. Be careful. If you're smart and you walk with God and your colleagues is genuine, you will not touch what does not belong to you. You will stay with what belongs to you and not touch what does not belong to you because offering is hollow in God's sight. In Proverbs 22, verse 6, the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. In fact, read the next verse. You will see that this scripture is a, is a financial scripture. See, the rich rules over the poor. So train your child very well so that the rich will not rule over him. It's a financial scripture. Train your child. Your child is, oh, somebody gave our children money yesterday. All of them. I said, that's your first fruit. Oh, they said, yeah, we know. That's, a, that's your first fruit. Because it was much. That's your fruit. You train your children about those things. About those things. I called children to my office uh, first of January. Some of them to give them gifts. And you know what amazed me? They had seed in their hand. Children. In my mind, I was like, okay, I don't even know where those offerings are. I can't even spend that kind of money. But if they've been given at that level, what would their life look like at 30? Do you know how long I've been being tight? You just started last year. <laughs> and you say, God is not faithful. I can tell you, God is faithful. I can tell you. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Oh my God. Don't worry, I'm not preaching tomorrow. Say after me, God honors those who honor him. So when I honor God, I'm actually setting myself up for honor. Can somebody shout hallelujah? In Revelations 1 verse 8, Revelations 1 verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning the, the Greek says, and the ending, not end, ending, says the Lord. Who is and was and who is to come? The Almighty. The Greek says, the mighty God. It doesn't stop there. If you go to verse 11, Revelation 1 and verse 11, and I can show you many times God introduced himself as the first. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. I wish I had time. You know when Joshua was about to, when he destroyed Jericho, you remember? You remember the curse on Jericho? He said the man that will rebuild the city. When he's laying the foundation, his first son will die. When he's putting the gates to the city, the last son will die. That was why Jesus had to die. Because he's the first and the last. Jericho is a type of the wall system. I wish I had time. For, 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 for seven dispensations, they were trying to build that city. They were trying to do stuff. They were trying to do things on themselves, on the, uh, by themselves. Dispensation of innocence, we see that. You know, they surrounded uh, Jericho seven times. Dispensation of innocence. Adam was innocent. Eve was innocent. They didn't know about the devil. Dispensation of conscience. When Cain killed Abel, he knew. When God said, Cain, where's your brother? He said, am I my brother, brother's keeper? Nobody had died before, but he knew. Conscience. Dispensation of human government. When Nimrod said to God, God, you are God over there. I'm God here. We'll build a tower. Genesis 11. That's the third time. Fourth, fourth time. Dispensation of promise. When he met Abraham. Fifth time. Dispensation of law. Six time, grace. Seven time, they walk seven times. And the seventh time, the millennium of Christ, they will be three and a half years, the Antichrist will negotiate three and a half years, it will come out fully. That's why the seventh day they went seven times. And when the Lord said, the Lord has given you the city, the city crumbled. The person that believed in the blood of Jesus because Rahab put a scarlet by a window. Even though the wall fell, Rahab raptured. Rahab 
Nobody ever up to it. So he's the type of the world, Jericho. So when God said, I'm the first and the last, I wish I could, uh, uh, pastors, please, 10 of you come. Pastors, I know you don't mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pastor, thank you. Thank you. So this is the first. This is the last. Now this is a prophetic teaching. This is tight. This is first fruit. If you want this to do well, you'll do this too in principle. That is why you can't sing a church like this. You can't. Now, this is not for everybody. In case you've been thinking, what can I do to be different in 2024? Do this. I have done this. We have done this for 25 years. The first and the last. If the first is holy, the rest is holy. If the first is holy, the rest is holy. Struggle with seeds. Now, nobody knew what I was going to teach. You heard the testimony of the brother that gave his first fruit. Now, if you're giving your first fruit before and your life changed, wave your hands to me. I want to hear. Anybody? Look around you. This is not an advert. Thank you, guys. Thank you, pastors. This is not an advert. But a lot of people don't. Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, which means it comes with shame. He said, woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. He said, the gospel is the power of God. It comes unto you. Unto, it just bounces you into a new level. So it's not for everybody. But in case you are thinking, how do God prosper people? You remember the lady with cancer? I think it was two years ago that I preached on this. And she, she did it. And cancer disappeared. Okay? So it's a mystery. God loves the first. Now, when they bring food to the table... The guest that is most important is the one you serve first. Hello? When Israel conquered Jericho, Jericho was impregnable. You couldn't access Jericho. Israel entered without guns, without arrow, without anything. The wall came down. Everybody ran, took off. They now wanted to fight AI the next day. Achan now took the first because Jericho was not, the, it was not the promised land. It was the gateway. The first, God said, burn everything. It belongs to me. If you give me the first, then I, you belong to me. Then I'm your Lord. But Achan said, eh, this kind of garment, this kind of designers, this kind of bag, where will I see it again? And the next day, they went to fight. Joshua said, no, no, you don't have to go. Just you, 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 just go. Uh, we, that we defeated Jericho yesterday. AI, very small. And they ran away. God said, I didn't go with you. Because somebody touched the first fruit. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, Jeremiah 2, verse 3. Jeremiah 2, verse 3. There are a lot of pastors that do it but they won't teach it because they don't want anybody to feel bad. Maybe God saw my boldness. <laughs> that was why he called me. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, now, we don't take a salary from this church. Everything from this church, anything you give goes back to this church. And I'm not saying give me your first fruit. I'm saying the church that teaches you, that gives us the platform, God demands that you do it. Okay? So like I said, it's not for everybody. I'm not talking to people on the internet. I'm talking to people I'm sent to. 
God forbid, when you are sick, when you are down, when something happens, they will call your church. You will say you are a worker. They won't call the person talking to you on the internet. They will call me. So I have the right to talk to you. Okay? <laughs> Israel was my holiness or was holiness to the Lord. The first fruit of his increase. All that devour him will offend. I was studying it today and the Holy Ghost told me, now you have no business being in this church if you think your pastor doesn't hear God. Okay? The Holy Ghost told me, if you touch the first, you will offend. You will offend. Okay? Disaster will come upon them. See as the Lord. Verse 4. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord. Not the word of Pastor Beard, the word of the Lord. Everyone that touches it will offend. I pray in the name of Jesus, your life this year shall be supernatural. I say your life this year shall be supernatural. Yeah. How many know that Goliath had four other brothers that were giants? I'm telling you, if you touch my brother, he didn't just shoot him, he died. And the four of them took off. How? Man, I was stunned. David, small boy. Israel, that for 40 days we've been threatening them, they've been shaking like jellyfish. You touch my brother, I will stand. They took off. The whole uh, Philistine, the army, they took off. Now, when Adam was captured, all of us were captured. Why? He was the first man. Wake up. Is a principle, is a pattern that you need to wake up. God had to give his firstborn, Jesus, to have all of us. Wake up. Not everybody is bold enough to say this. I don't care. My ship knows my voice. And the voice of the stranger, they will not follow. Okay? Proverbs 3 verse 9. I got a rush because I got a close. How not the Lord not give? Since just started, people have been given, but they've not gotten results. I went to preach in a church in Lagos many years ago. I had a car. Oh, I wasn't the only one that loved it. My children loved it. But the church I went to preach, they borrowed a car to pick me from the airport. I don't know what happened because the pastor at 21 was pastoring the best church. I mean, I've known him since 1987. So it was a huge honor for me to preach there that day. And God just told me in the plane, when you get to Abuja, take your car, your only car, that car you love. Now, don't send it. Tell no one apart from your wife. Take it to his house. Kneel down. Let him pray for you. Give the key. Take a taxi there. Let the taxi be waiting. Spend a few minutes there. When he prays for you, enter the taxi and go away. And that was exactly, even pass of flow that we went together, I didn't tell him. He lived in the same, I didn't tell him what I was going to do. As I entered the taxi, I didn't feel like, yeah, what has happened to me? I knew that God was not a man that should lie. I knew that something good was coming. I knew. Are you following what I'm saying? I give you the honor. There are people that will give you things you will feel less. <laughs> one one uh, music artist was talking to me, uh, I think last year. He said, the difference between Koza and some places he's been to is not that 
what we see here or what we give here, they don't give it. But with honor, you, you had dignity to us. I said, yeah, really? Since I've not been to any, any other place. I said, hmm, hmm. You know, you can't quote, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Honor the Lord. Think about it. When you want to give to the Lord, how do you do it? How do you do it? You know where we enter trouble? Are you still here? I want to close, but if I think you're not getting it, I will speak more. <laughs> because I feel like a tank. This is my forte. This is something I know a little bit about. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, I come against every unbelief in this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. Because the devil has done a lot of people harm. I'm telling you, what will you do with that finance? Hmm? What will you do? Okay. You know where this thing is dangerous? I'll tell you. You know that when you die, you die in hope that God will raise you up. Nobody dies and goes to heaven. You will die and they will bury you. Okay? I know that to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. But we believe that God will raise us up. As Christians, you die. You, <laughs> you die thinking somebody's word will be true. Right? How can you say you believe that God will raise you up, but God cannot raise your money up. And you say you're a Christian. That's where it's dangerous. That's where, because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Bible calls unbelief an evil heart. That thought is evil. That God is not faithful, that God is a cheat. That is where you enter trouble. Not that you, you don't give. Okay? So, as, a, as your pastor, I need to let you know these things so that the time of refreshing, I believe strongly that this year will be the best year ever. Yeah. I saw his kids online about somebody who beat his pastor. And they wrote there, this pastor said, 2023 will be good. It's not about him. Jesus said, your faith. <laughs> it's, not about, it's not about you. It's not even about what you do. It's about your faith. That's why I'm teaching you because faith comes by hearing. By hearing. Praise God. Honor the Lord with your possessions. And with the first fruits of your increase. Do you need anything clearer than this? Verse 10. So, that is the way your barn will be filled with plenty. See, if you, the hand fan, if you throw it up, it is the flat side that will use the land. God operates by principle. He can't deny himself. So, let's read some other versions. Let's read NLT. I'm not, I don't think I've read it, but let's just read. Honor the Lord with your wealth. You see people wearing things. <laughs> it's like they stepped out of GQ magazine and they will give God tiny thing. <laughs> I won't be like that. Never. I came to church. Listen, I came to church on the first to see some of the pastors that came to see me. I was hearing music upstairs. I asked my wife, I said, what are they doing? They said, oh, uh, they are doing praise uh, in honor of your birthday. I said, hey, nobody will praise God for me. I came here, I spent one hour. <laughs> you better be careful. One widow on the first, when she received what God gave her to us, he said, handsome pastor, you will live long. That's what I want to hear. Because God is the husband of the widow. Yes, eh? If your wife is asking you for something and somebody is asking you, won't you give your wife first? Eh? When a widow talks, God be, I'm a grace collector. 
honor the Lord with your wealth. With your wealth. Pastor Biodun, uh, this is not my concern because I don't have wealth. Start from where you are. God will not ask you for what you don't have. Don't borrow to give God. Start from where you are because if you don't start from where you are, some of you are not, you don't attend Koza. Go to your church and do what I'm telling you right now. Maybe your pastor, I don't know who he is, maybe he doesn't have the boldness to tell you. That is the way things will happen for you. And if you stand in faith and do what I've told you right now, you will come back and share testimonies with me. Because without faith, you can't please God. You shut things down. But if you stay in faith, so maybe you get the message today and keep playing it until you see results. result. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the best part of everything you produce. The best part. Don't give God one eye. You know, one guy had to, the, the cow gave birth to two calves. So I will give God one. Say, which one? Say, don't worry, it's between me and God. <laughs> People that say it's between me and God sometimes. So they just told him that one of the calves died. Hey, God calf. God's calf has died. He doesn't even know which one. When you have a carryover in school, you reduce fellowship, you increase, your eating is the same, your calling, your text, see, the same. Uh, extra cooler, what do they call it? Extra cool. At night, you still talk to who you talk to, but you don't go to fair. It's, it's God's calf that dies. It's God's calf that dies. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Verse 10. Then it will fill your bands with grains. Some of you are building bands and you don't have a farm. Build your farm first before you build a band. What will you put in the band? If you wet an empty ground, what will come a weed? Hmm? Bible says, and your vats will overflow with, with good wine. Go and study in the Bible. Every time God meets people, he will tell them, walk before me and be perfect. Walk before me, obey me, do this. The next thing that will happen, it begins to increase them. If consistently you've been walking with God and you've not seen increase, something is wrong. This thing does not answer to prayer. There's no answer to title. The answers to this principle I've taught you. And your life will remain the same. Amen. You love me tomorrow. I bet you love me tomorrow. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word, for everything you've done. Adonai, you're the owner of everything. Thank you. You are the one that makes a life, you're the one that kills. We read in the Bible that you lift up one, you put one down. Lord, today we have made up our minds to walk in your counsel because it's your counsel that will stand. Father, thank you because when we, you say we can't serve two masters. When you are on, mammon is shut down. The devil is shut down. We pray that everything called evil shall be shut down in the life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now I decree and I declare. Now you need to be careful tonight. <laughs> you need to be careful tonight. Because I've taken cognizance that the grace for finance is at work on me. Okay? There is no way. You'll be a hypocrite if you teach this and you don't do it. Any mentor looking at me right now can testify that this person talking practices this. Okay? So I'm not just telling you what we don't do. Anybody close to me, that's the first thing I will say to you. Because if you have financial challenge, you won't praise God properly. And you know one thing that changed my life? God gives your seed another body. 1 Corinthians 15, read it down from 32. It gives your seed another body. You can sow money and your children will be doing well. Yes, oh, one parent showed me one child. So you see this child? You remember when he came to you? To, he started, she started leading her class. God gave their, their seed another body. 
This is one part the devil wants you, doesn't want you to enter into. He doesn't care if you go to church. Just be religious. Don't forget. If you think God will raise you up on the last day and he can raise your money, there's something wrong with your belief system. You don't trust him. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be possibilities. Let there be strange open doors. Can that amen be louder? Let the God that made a way in the middle of the sea make a way for you right now. Walk in unusual wisdom. Let the grace for knowing what to do rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Abraham did not give Isaac. He just raised up the knife. You've not given that thing. You just made up your mind. Now let good things begin to happen to you. Let every activity of hell be shut down in your life. And let Jesus be glorified. Thank you, Father. Can you pray in tongues for a while? Come on, raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice all over this place. Pray in tongues. Raise your voice. Pray in tongues. Make it loud. Let it be faith-filled. Pray like you're expecting a miracle. Make it louder. I know it's loud, but make it louder. Let your mouth pray. Let your eyes pray. Let your nose pray. Let your head pray. Let everything pray. Release your faith. To everyone that believes. I can't hear you, church. Two more minutes. Raise it high. Raise it high. Can you shout about it? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray it. Do you know one of the reasons why I operate this way? So that you will not think Pastor Beardo is anything. You will come back with testimonies. I don't need to shake this way and shake that way because I'm not a doer of all these things. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, you will experience, you will take cognizance that things have changed concerning you. I pray from my heart as we are opening businesses, we are dedicating houses, we are dedicating babies. The faithfulness of God shall be felt in your life. The former troubles are over. Let there be a new beginning for you. For the path of the just like a shining light. Shine brighter and brighter. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Let's clap for Jesus.